everybody a big hug because I always give birth little hugs, but that, that still isn't a now. So maybe soon I would give everybody a big, big hug. And it's so nice seeing people. I feel like I lived in a cave for so long. So I want to uh, thank, of course, Department of Agriculture and DPI for having me. And I always, I always say that I love participating in events such as this. And of course, thank you, Sir Danilo Tapio, Sir Jerry Damoyan, and the very beautiful Mirna P. Pablo, who's my deep mate, she's very kind, <laughs> and Sir Cameron Otzi, and also my mentor, Sir Robert Damogan, and everybody else who's here, sorry if I, I, I might, must have missed a couple of names. I'm going to advocate for urban gardening and agriculture because they said if you speak about something, if you advocate about something, it should be something you're passionate about. So my mom's an environmentalist and as young as I can remember the age of six, I was already aware of nature responsibility. That's why I also chose the Miss Earth pageant. And I do have a soft spot for farmers since my grandparents were farmers and this is what they've away to my mother's education, so it's it's sad seeing the situation now, now that we are highly impacted and the COVID-19 pandemic put up a mirror as to what has already been happening. The social and economic problems that regular people like us face. So I really want to extend my love and support for the farmers and it's nice that we actually considered and we actually embraced the virtual realities and turn our struggles into opportunities. And of course, we have to be, as mentioned earlier, we have to be resilient. So ngayon, meron na tayong tindahan on the go, rise up farmers where we could purchase, uh, we could purchase vegetables, we could purchase local products online. So it's a nice way to connect the consumers uh, to the farmers. And uh, it's as for me, I am now based kasi in Metro Manila, although I'm saying in Baguio now, I've stayed here to compete for the competition. But I'm based in Baguio and it's a struggle for me like to get fresh fruits and vegetables. Like it's hard for me to like to like purchase fruits and vegetables and this is uh, usually what I normally eat, so it's a struggle. So it's really nice to have uh, the virtual online platforms that connects me as a consumer to the farmers and they really need it. So I also feel for the farmers, I hope that uh, through this, they would be able to earn what they deserve. Because my word na tinatawag na nababarat sila, and uh, they work so hard para na to be able to provide to uh, for their families, to create a living, to send their children to school. So I hope that we consider that and we also give them what they deserve. Because it's not hindi biro po, hindi biro po uh, farming. And I've been... Uh, speaking a lot with virtual events and I was given the privilege to interview a couple of farmers and may may yung shinier ng farmer na pauti ng paute yung nagkaka interest with agriculture which is sad because I feel like a lot of us feels like agriculture is the hope for our country. So nung interview ko siya as nasabi niya na hindi na daw interested yung younger generation. So it's nice like seeing millennials here like interested in farming and knowing that it's gonna be the hope of our country and there is there is good income in uh, agriculture and it's a business towards sustainability. So that I uplift, and I I said I, I feel that like I have the need to stand here today, not to give like a formal speech which I haven't prepared. So I'm just gonna I, I'm, I'm I feel like the need to stand here today because I want to tell everybody here that your dreams are valid, that you could do anything that you set our mind and heart to. I know this pandemic has been heavy for most of us, but know that we are given this life because we are strong enough to live it. Marami dito siguro yung gusto mag-start ng, ng business or they already have a business and biglang dumating yung COVID-19 pandemic so we feel like yung dreams natin, ano, we were forced to put it on a pause but it hasn't, it doesn't have to be that way. We could turn these challenges into opportunities. As for me, na very soft-spoken and now I have to like enter a virtual pageant because I joined Miss Philippines Earth prior to knowing magkaka lockdown, so we did have activities live before coming in lockdown. And then when they told us that us it's gonna be virtual, I was down at first, like how is this how am I gonna continue on? I did have my fair share of hindrances. But sabi ko, this is my dream, virtual or not, I'm still gonna go for it. And this virtual pageant is a sign of resiliency. I did not 
let a pandemic like this silence me from being a spokesperson for Mother Earth. So I push through with, with strength. And that's what I want for everybody, that your dreams are valid. Amidst this pandemic, pwede niya parin ipatuloy yan. Believe in yourself. You can do anything that you're, you set your mind and heart to. And I know we face a lot of like anxieties, but just take one day at a time. Know that it's okay to not be okay. Don't be too hard on yourself. Hindi natin kasalanan na nagka-pandemic. So for those who are just starting or are struggling with their businesses, know that we could get through this. I may not know what you're feeling. I couldn't say na alam ko yung nararamdaman niyo. I don't know like what you're feeling individually and I really do feel for you but I just want to tell everybody, hold on, keep the faith, God is with you and I'll be here supporting you guys and of course uh, supporting locals since that's pa part of my advocacy. And of course, thank you for having me today and uh, I couldn't be more happier to take part and speak in front of everybody. Thank you so much.